Hey everyone, uh, I'm trying something a little bit new out today, so if you guys are interested, just let me know. If you guys don't like it, also let me know. I'm not sure how well it's going to go over or how well it's going to look. I know it's going to look a little bit wonky because I'm literally just going to be reading my notes off that I took for today's topic. And most of you guys out there know that I have vision issues, and so to actually be able to sit here and just read this stuff, I have to be like this. And so it's going to look a little bit wonky. If you guys like it, let me know. If you guys don't, let me know. Thanks for the feedback. Located in the Flat Tops Wilderness area, which is often called the Cradle of Wilderness, and is just about 49 and a half miles away from the town of Meeker, Colorado, is the Trapper's Lake Trail. Now, if you travel this trail at 11.1 miles, you will reach Trapper's Lake, with the whole round trip being roughly 22.2 miles. Trapper's Lake is a beautiful and scenic 302 acre body of water that reaches a maximum depth of 180 feet. There are many types of fish to catch in this lake, and Trapper's Lake is actually often called the Big Fish Lake because apparently the environment of this lake makes for some larger than average fish. And from what I can tell, almost any kind of trout is heavily sought after here. In 2002, an event occurred that is known as the Big Fish Fire. This event began with the strike of lightning and proceeded to burn 17,056 acres of wilderness surrounding the lake. This destroyed the original lodging, which was eventually rebuilt. For years afterwards, the landscape, the one destroyed by those very flames, was reclaimed by Mother Nature. Now that it's 22 years later, and more than two decades have passed, can you even tell that 22 years ago, it was a charred, blackened landscape? There are also quite a bit of different camping and lodging areas in the surrounding forest, plus the lake is viable for swimming and small paddle boats, but the water is typically extremely frigid, and so swimming is not typically a go. It's just too cold. And I mean, don't really have to say it, but apparently I do. It's the- it, it's nature. Nature's trying to kill you. Make sure you keep food. Make sure you keep extra clothes. Make sure you keep all of the stuff that you need to make sure that you are not the next missing 411 case. 